Irish and like potatoes, because only Irish people are allowed to eat potatoes. That's very accurate. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So he's gonna put that on a drill and then try to cut it while it's... <laughs> no way. No way. Wait, no! That looks really dangerous. Dude, no way! I feel like he's wasting a lot of the potato though. No, dude, that looks... That is insane. That's the coolest thing I've seen all day. It'd be a good way to make french fries too, I bet. Like really like thin, stringy french fries. Ooh. You're thin. Oh, thanks. All right, it's game day, and we need a snazzy new way to share some chips with everyone. Start with removing a lid from your preferred brand of baby wipes. Hot glue that lid onto the front of a bag and cut out the plastic underneath. And now you can enjoy chips like a person that bought every single NFL Fortnite skin. My favorite team is the LA Swingers. I like the Hornets. Is that a real team? I think so. <laughs> I might have mixed up the sport here and there. <laughs> maybe it's a Bumblebee. Or maybe that's the Transformers. I was say, that's a Transformer. So, Optimus Prime isn't a team? No, but seriously, that to Tostitos life hack was pretty useful. Thank you, Trump, for making this possible. Are you a YouTuber with a Lamborghini that just doesn't have that much trunk space? You don't know what to do with all those crazy amounts of piles of money you have? Weird flex, but okay. Just slap some shower caddies to your window and you'll always have your driving essentials within reach. Dental hygiene is no joke and finding a suitable safe snack is no easy task. Well, here's a recipe for a minty solution to all those problems. I'm going to be honest, this looks like a terrible idea. Could you imagine the chaos if you gave these away on Halloween? Oh god, dude, your house would be covered in toilet paper. Or I, sick children. Or, or eggs. Yeah, you're not allowed to have a house if you give away that kind of stuff. Because there's also a guy who put, like, needles in a Snickers bar or some stupid crap like that. Yeah, just take away their house. Yeah, yeah like, his house. house should just be gone. Just flat. It should just be, you know how the earth's flat? Yeah. That house. part should be flat. Like the earth. <laughs> Did he actually eat that? Well, That's judging so by that... <laughs> I think he did. Need a quick and easy way to help get a fire started? Start by removing all of the dryer lint and stuffing it into a toilet paper roll. Nestle a few of your DIY fire stars in between your pieces of wood and watch as your fireplace becomes the most lit area in the house. That's why a lot of uh, home fire start is because people don't clean out their dryer traps. Okay, the queue between Fortnite's about two minutes. It takes approximately one minute and 55 seconds to throw new clothes in the washer slash dryer. Uh -huh. So that only leaves five seconds to remove it. Also, they have to thank the bus driver so that adds a couple oh, extra seconds. You're right. Too. That's it. Ever since they added, you know, thanking the bus driver, house fires have gone up 33%. Here's a survival life hack for when those desperate times call for desperate measures. Like if you're in the middle of the woods with nothing in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, mm -hmm. this would be perfect. Yep. No joke, my friend did this and it really does work and it is actually really good. Dude, I bet the butter like gets fried on top. Yep, it, it does. Dude, I, when he did it, I thought it he was like crazy and then I ate it. It was so good. It's literally the best way to make grilled cheese. I might do that tonight, except for I don't have a hot iron thing because I don't live in the 1900s. Editor, thrown up on the screen. So, do you think this would still work if I opened my dryer, mm -hmm. threw a piece of bread, mm -hmm. piece of cheese, mm -hmm. a little bit of bread, butter, yeah, another piece of bread, of course, slammed it shut, uh -huh. one hour, do you think it would come out the same? Everybody try it. Yeah, <laughs> let us know if it works. <laughs> well, see that the text at the bottom? Uh -huh. Because of that, we're not liable if they do it. Yeah, we can say, do it, and it's just a joke. We're just joking. Yeah, we're just joking. We didn't want you to actually destroy your mom's dryer. That text means that everything we're saying is a joke. Checkmate. Oh, hold up. He didn't even show the so landing. Yeah, That's that would have been cool. This is like, if you work with your hands a lot, like you're like a mechanic, your hands are really sleepy. So if you wash them with soap in the morning, that's not gonna do anything. But you wash them with coffee. And they wake up? And they wake up and your hands are ready to go. Okay, you obviously get the joke, but that's a stupid joke. Why would he put that in It's like, like the time one. Oh yeah, yeah. break it with hammer the hammer. Yeah. Can I get some hammer time? Can I get another one? Do four at the same time. Now do 16. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate me, editor? Oh, really? Okay, well then do 24. That's right. What do you rate me now? There you go. I'll spare you. Do you still go to preschool and use markers? Do you actually still write stuff even though it's 2018 and I haven't wrote anything in like a year or two? Doesn't that look like dynamite? Wally Coyote over here. Photoshop it on fire and then slowly going down and then it blowing up. Wow. 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 Misplacing marker caps has been a problem for around 27,000 years. Now all we need is a life hack to rewrite all the history books we outdated, but uh, the printing press is broke. We'll fix that in a bit. Yeah, a couple of thousand years. 
Here's a great life hack to help spice up your reading life. The frick you going on about? We all use Kindles. It's the 21st century. Try mixing up what you use as a bookmark and see what you like the most. Yeah, because people who read books are freaking stupid. So they need incentives like this. They're not smart enough like us. I haven't read a book in like three years. You read a book when we went to the manga store like a month ago. Manga doesn't count as a book. That's not a manga. You don't got time to read that. They don't watch anime like us. Don't Top read tier manga. gentlemen. Are you needing some extra help passing a terrible test in class? Well, if you leave a note on the inside of your cell phone case, you can hide all the answers you need. You would, not your brother though. Not my brother. My brother was a good, clean, straight guy who never cheated ever. Unfortunately for this guy, he probably should have prepared a real cheat test. Yeah, but if you have your phone during a test, why not just Google it instead of taking it off the back of it? Yeah. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Worried you might need an extra card in a Pokemon battle, but need a discreet way to hide it? Hey, that's cheating. Get a bar of soap and drill a hole into it. This is gonna be really satisfying. Yep, there it is. Roll up your game ending Pokemon card and unleash your fury when the time is right. What, do you not play Pokemon Go? I think the fear here is that a Pokemon might pop up in your bathroom. So this is like an uh, emergency card. But yeah, if he had to put a Master Ball in there or something, but he put just Yeah, but energy. the Master Ball wouldn't fit, you numb nut. You would have to put the soap in the Master Ball and that would ruin the Master Ball. Do you struggle with doing things that are literally so easy a monkey could do it? Whoa, man, why you gotta hate on monkeys like that? Because my great 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 grandfather was a monkey and he lost a lot of money in the stock market. Oh wow, man, this guy's a klutz. After you've utterly failed at eating your banana and left a terrible mess all over your table, you can use your peel as a makeshift sponge. There you go, banana peels are sponges. That's Mario's weakness. Bubbles! Yeah, it's all Can I get some zoomage on those bubbles? I swear, this is how bananas in Mario Kart are made. Are your wired a tangled mess? And you're worried that it is affecting your fashion sense? For this hack, roll up your cables and use a binder clip to hold them in place. Put some string through them for a useful and organized necklace. We were just uh, debating about our cord management. It's horrible here. Maybe we should do this life hack and just hang our cords from the ceiling. If we need them, we just grab them. Boom. Another life hack. But why would we want our necklace hanging from the ceiling? Nice belt. <laughs> like his shirt though, very nice. Are you someone with so many issues that you need a better way to store your tissues? Got an issue? Grab a tissue. Start by putting some facial wipes into a travel coffee cup. Store in your car's cup holder, and now when you're having an emotional breakdown in traffic, you have some tissues to stop it from ruining your makeup. I hate when my tears ruin my makeup. Same. I would actually do that just because it'd be funny to see how people react to it. <laughs> I imagine someone's in your car and they just like start crying and then you pull a <laughs> tissue out of the coffee cup, they'd just be like... Here. No, I don't want any Starbucks. No, these are tissues. Take one. That is a plastic bag, which is horrible for the environment. Like, that, was, that was a good Walmart ad though. Yeah, but I'm surprised like we still use them. Like Americans probably use like tens of millions of plastic bags every single day. I repurpose them. I use them to put my cat's poop in. Are you finding yourself overwhelmed by the insane amount of grocery bags you have laying around? Pause real quick. If you take more than one trip, it is a known fact you're is smaller than everyone else's. Very true. Mm -hmm. I one time took three trips, and that's why I have three inches. I don't even really need bags, to be honest. When you grocery shop and you have a cart full of things, like you need bags to help carry No, when I self-check out, I don't use bags. I just put everything back in the cart and then put it in the back of my truck. Well, you're, well, you're stupid. Well, I'm saving the environment, so ha, right? Why doesn't Walmart do that? It's probably more effective than what they have. Yeah, that little, uh, that annoying thing, yeah, you the, can never get them apart. The, the, the other thing, the circular thing in the bag, and it's up there, and then it's to the left, right, and then it jumps sometimes. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Want a savvy way to store your items without worrying about them getting stolen? Or you can just keep it in your pocket. <laughs> so I think the use in this hack is if like, you know, you're at the park and you and your boys are about to play some football, mm -hmm. you wanna, you know, unload your stuff, but you just don't wanna leave it sitting on the bench. Yeah, definitely. So then you just take off your diaper, grab your spare pudding, wipe the pudding on it, put everything in the diaper, and then set it on the bench and no one will touch your stuff. If I'm taking off my diaper, why do I need the pudding though? Usually it's already full. Gotcha, well then in your case, do that. Okay, thank you, life hacks, very cool. Here's a life hack for those of us who are desperate for a solution for not having enough adult sippy cups. This life hack actually fits us quite well. Mm -hmm. I could use this. Cover the top of a cup with saran wrap and a rubber band to prevent it from spilling when knocked over. Wow. That looks like an excessively big rubber band. Yeah, why you, is that so big? What do you need to like freaking constrain the moon? I expect a picture of a moon with a rubber band right here. Now I want Mars with a rubber band. It better be blue. Oh wow, that actually works. 
Personally, I think responsibilities are overrated, so I like this hack. It's good to see he's not using Coca-Cola for once. Add in a straw, and you'll be the coolest adult kid on the block. It may be cool, but not as cool as some of the hard truths you'll find in your favorite conspiracy theories. Well, here's how you keep your noggin warm and your tinfoil hat on tight. I believe that the government's always trying to beam in my brain, so I wear a tinfoil hat all the time. But people make fun of me. Well, because that reflects the beams right at them. Exactly. Do you want to protect your memes? Then you gotta wear tinfoil around your brain. You don't want them aliens stealing your memes, bro. Here's a life hack that'll turn your casual read into a pick up and go breeze. Those are what college books look like. Is that how reading works? Oh, mm -hmm. no, I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know either. I'm just making it up as I go. I haven't read in ages. I forgot how it works. Chris, once you've absorbed enough knowledge for the day, just pick a word on the page that, you know, you like better than the other ones. Okay. Now the next time you open the book, you'll see that word that you like better than the other ones. Oh, that's so, actually pretty smart. And then you put the paper clip on the word you stopped reading at. That's pretty cool. Only problem is no one reads. We're not <laughs> stupid. That's a really hot bowl. Oh, that bowl's way too hot. What if like, it's just so hot, like you don't have time to react. Like you just whip off your shirt. That corn's still gonna be in his poop when he poops because corn doesn't digest. Why don't you just put it in your mouth, spit it out, and then just put it in the toilet. Save your body the trouble. I'm sure those laxative gloves. It's latex. I bet he's wearing those latex gloves because of all the times he's been scarred, you know, pulling pizza rolls out of the microwave. He probably has like a black tongue. Yeah, but you're, they're so good and you're so excited for them. You just can't. You can't not. wait. You know what? I'm actually kind of proud of this guy for finally trying something new. Great job, man. Go enjoy your bowl of corn. You deserve it. Ever have a time where you just completely forget where your shoelace went? Like you went to put on your shoe and there just wasn't a shoelace? Well, see, I have a different problem. I just can't tie my shoes because I'm stupid. Ah, well here you go, the handy dandy zip shoelace. No more tying your shoes, tripping over loose laces, or ever needing to take your shoes off again. Dude, like if Kim Kardashian wore say, that- Kanye West is about to steal that idea. I know, dude, if he made that a thing, like Yeezy Zip Edition, like Zippies. Dude, Kanye, zippies. if you steal this, you better give us some royalties. Nah, we watch found this. this. Watch this, see this on the screen? Uh -huh. That's my patent symbol, we're Ooh. good. I yeah. patented it. Are you tired of your Legos always falling apart? Well, grab a cup of some industrial strength Elmer's glue and soak your pieces in there. So glue is made out of horse bones. Is it's it really? Good. Yeah, it really is. Dump out your Legos and whatever you build next will literally never come apart. You know Jell-O is made out of horse hoofs and bones too. When did horse become the most precious resource on earth? That's why they added horses to Minecraft. Because like, diamonds weren't valuable enough, so they needed something better. All right guys, now it's time for anime time. We're gonna do this occasionally, not every video, but uh, basically we're gonna recommend an anime for you guys to watch. We're gonna pick ones on Netflix, so it's easy and you know, most of you can watch it. And then we want you guys to watch it and comment what you think. Just watch a few episodes, leave a comment, uh, comment on the videos. We uh, read a lot of the comments and uh, what we'll do is we'll throw up the comments on the screen next time. This episode of Anime Time recommendation is Seven Deadly Sins. It is on Netflix. It's called Seven Deadly Sins. I want you guys to go watch the first few episodes and come back to this video and comment what you think about it. Me and Chris will be reading the comments. We'll reply to a lot of the anime comments. Seven Deadly Sins. I love the show. Chris loved the show. We've seen it all. We just want you guys to go watch the first few episodes and let us know what you think. If you make it into it, skip season two though. It's all filler. That's it for the video. We're about to play rock, paper, scissors. Remember, whenever you click on a Mr. Period Beast video, always watch to the end. Because at the end of every video, we play rock, paper, scissors. People that don't play rock, paper, scissors, their parents don't love them. So, get your, get your thing in your hand. I choose scissors. Okay, all right, you may have got me the first time. All right, fine, whatever. All right, for this next one, I choose rock. Yeah, take that, it's time now. I choose paper. Oh yeah, I won. Subscribe. High oh. five, Chris. All right, high five symbolizes the end of a video. Bye.